Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something uh, a little bit different um, and I am going to show you guys my show you guys my Trader Joe's uh, like fall slash pumpkin haul. Um, I haven't done this before. I've done a lot of different food reveals, unboxings, shopping hauls and I figured well, why not do a like pumpkin spice fall themed Hall because it's like my annual tradition where I always go to Trader Joe's and get a bunch of pumpkin and fall themed items and this year they have a bunch of new items that I wanted to show you guys um, so I just thought this would be kind of fun um, I didn't have any like orange or pumpkin themed wear that I could really find that's readily available so you guys, you guys will just have to settle for my Oktoberfest t-shirt from <laughs> last year because it was the closest thing that I could find that was fall related so I am actually wearing this for the first time and it's a little bit looser like it's it used to be kind of tight on me it's looser now so I've lost a little bit of weight um so this is kind of nice I just, I just think it's so pretty um and of course with COVID uh there is no Oktoberfest this year so it was just a really amazing uh, time uh, chance for me to be able to experience that last year before 2020 came in and blew everything up anyway okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my Trader Joe's uh, pumpkin spice fall haul so I'll go ahead and show you guys something that I got okay so the first thing I got were these pumpkin spice bagels these I get every year they've had them for I don't even know how long they've been they have been around for a while so um, I think these are about $2.99 let me just double check this receipt um, yeah two, $2.50 yeah so that's about right um, and they've, like as I said they've been around for a while so yeah they've been around for a while yeah, so they've been around for a while, probably at least 10 years. I always get them every single year. So that's one thing that isn't new. Okay, the next one I have here are these pumpkin waffles. Also not new. These have been around for a couple of years. They're, I think they've, they're somewhat newer than the bagels. Um, but yeah, these are always really tasty. These are also only just a couple dollars. Um, See, they were oh they were only two dollars I I couldn't leave the store without them I wasn't sure I don't know I have a bunch of waffles but they a lot of the pumpkin stuff is fairly short-lived it's there for maybe a month and a half or two tops before all of the holiday things come in and I might do a whole separate haul on that because they have all kinds of fun holiday stuff and this isn't even everything they have Trader Joe's has so many types of fall related items like pumpkin butter I didn't buy this time because I've always bought it and I've got a couple other things uh, to show you instead that I got this time because I wanted to try uh, some different things so the next one I got here this has been around I think for like the past two ish years so this has been around for the past two years two ish years I think two three years tops maybe butternut squash mac and cheese this is just a fun autumnal type of food item if you like mac and cheese and you like butternut squash you like this it's a very subtle flavor um, it's just really good and fun to have during the fall so I got a couple of these I'm just showing you one but I got two of them uh, from my husband and I to try out all right and the next one here I got is this non-dairy oat maple beverage uh, this works really well as a non-dairy creamer it was so good i had it with some of my tea uh, this morning and it was just super tasty um and yeah so it, it was just really good and, it, and um i used a milk frother um, and generally speaking plant-based milks don't froth very well but this frothed really well just in case you uh use a milk frother as well um, this worked really well and froth, and froth for plant-based uh, milk, so I highly recommend this. Or just, you know, if you want to add it cold, you can do that too. Totally optional. I just thought it was really quite tasty. Alright, so next item. 
I actually ate these already. I couldn't wait. I had to eat them. They were so good. Um, and they are the pumpkin empanadas. They, there were four in a package. Um, so they were really good. And they, let's see, sugar. So there was some light sweetness inside of them. Uh, typ typically empanadas have, are meat-based, mostly beef. Um, so these would be more like dessert empanadas, but I had them for brunch. They were super tasty. Um, so each empanada is 160 calories. So two is only, you know, a little over 300 calories, not too crazy. Um, so we ate these this morning. They were really good. I wish I'd bought more. Next, my next trip to Trader Joe's, I'll definitely buy a couple more of these and freeze them because they were really good. Um, so it's just kind of nice to kind of get fall started because it's fall's coming up officially, I think tomorrow. I think tomorrow's the official first day of fall. Yeah, I think it's pretty sure it's tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm super excited about these. So that'll be good. The next thing I had, okay, so this is something that's really, pairs really well with the maple oat beverage that I just showed you. This is the, spi the spice chai uh, tea concentrate. Um, my husband who doesn't like tea actually likes this stuff. Um, and you just pour a little bit of this in with a little bit of milk and you know, you get your chai latte. It's super tasty, super simple, easy, tastes good, make your own chai latte at home without spending a ton of money. I'm a fan of this stuff. It was, this one was, I don't think I have the, uh, I don't think I have the receipt for this one, but actually I think it might be further in there, but I'll take that out later. I think this was like 350 or so for this whole thing. You could probably get a good couple of drinks out of this. Um, as you can see, I used a little bit already for one, so we got that. Um, okay, I also got this cinnamon bun spread. Um, this is one of the things I wanted to try instead of the pumpkin butter. Uh, I hadn't seen this before. I actually use this with the pumpkin egg empanadas. I would highly recommend. It's funny because later on I saw a post on Instagram from uh, one of the Trader Joe's foodies that they tried this cinnamon bun sauce with the empanadas and I just did like maybe a tablespoon uh, and just kind of dipped it and it was so good um, so I would highly recommend buying this as well and eating them together because it was super tasty so I'm glad I got that okay so the next one I got here is this coconut cold brew coffee concentrate because my husband likes coffee um, and you know, without having to brew a bunch of coffee, this is just super convenient to have on hand to make like lattes or whatever it is, mochas. Um, so I did pick this one up. This one was, I think, $4.99. Um, so I got that, just kind of fun, extra coconut taste. Okay, so the next one I got here is not a new product. This is the pumpkin cinnamon rolls. I always get like at least one. I try to watch what I eat and stuff, but I got I get one like a year and kind of treat myself um, because they always have these and these are always good. These have been around for a good while, I think pro more than five years for sure, um, but these are so good. So I always pick them up during the fall, their fall like product launch. So I got those, I think those were like $253. I'll get to that receipt because I know it's in here. Okay, the next one also not a new product, but I get it every year, and this is the gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. They also have the regular pancake mix. It's a little bit cheaper. It's like $1.99. This is $3.50. Um, I'm not, I don't have celiac or anything like that, but I try to kind of watch the amount of gluten I have because I do have IBS, uh, and uh, wheat can be a big trigger for that. So, I do try to get gluten-free things when I can, so I got that. This one was like three fifty. Okay, so all right, the next one I have here. This is a new product. This is the spicy pumpkin curry simmer, simmer sauce. So um, spicy pumpkin curry, and I've had pumpkin curry at Thai restaurants. It is so good. I actually have some pumpkin here, so I'm gonna try 
throwing that in here because, oh my gosh, it is so good, guys. I can't even begin to tell you. It's so tasty. Um, so I picked this one up, pumpkin simmer sauce. And yeah, okay, you, basically you add protein and vegetables. Um, so I have some lamb. I'll probably get that uh, cooked up with this stuff because this is so good. Um, so I am excited about this guy. So yeah, I think this was also only a couple bucks. I feel like I maybe should have bought more, but I just love pumpkin curry and I'm excited to see what this tastes like. Uh, okay, so um, the first time I went to Trader Joe's, I went, these are a couple of different trips. The first time I went, I didn't see any, like I saw all these pumpkin things, but I didn't even see cans of pumpkin. That was super weird. But the second trip I went, I actually saw cans of pumpkin and I got a couple because I like to bake with pumpkin. Um, and like, you know, make oatmeal and all that. So I got some of that. Okay. And then I got some maple butter, which they also seem to have a lot of maple things this time of year. This is basically just whipped maple syrup into like a kind of butter type of consistency. And it's really good. You know, it's just kind of nice to like slather on your pancakes or waffles or whatever. Uh, that was $6. Okay. All right, and the next thing I got that was something that I hadn't tried before is this apple cider fruit spread. Um, so I decided to pick this up instead of the pumpkin butter because I always get that and I just figured, well, I'm gonna try something new this time. Um, so I picked this one up, this is the apple cider jam and Trader Joe's always seems to like have a lot of seasonal things like they had the watermelon jam for a while uh, that I used, that one was really good. So I got this one. The next thing I have here are these vanilla pa bean pastes. Um, I tend to see things on Instagram like, oh my god, I need that, right? So these are five dollars each. These they're paste consistencies. They um, are a bit small, but I feel like a couple table. This will get you like through a couple of different baking recipes. Um, good for that. So. Let's see, okay, they have sugar, water, vanilla extract, vanilla bean specks, uh, kaika uh, gum, and xanthan gum. So it is just kind of nice to have on hand uh, for baking, so I'm just gonna try it out because actually one of the Trader Joe's store employees asked, like, what what, like, what like, would you use these in? I'm like, well, I actually haven't tried these before, but I'm planning to use them for baking. Ooh, I just like got my thumb in <laughs> it. Oh wow, Ooh, yummy. It is so good. Okay, so it looks, I'm just opening it to kind of see. It's very dark. I can't really see it. I don't want to get it all over the place, but um, it's uh, like a paste. Um, okay, it tastes good. Ooh, it's so good. Mm. So it has real vanilla extract. That's really important because I don't buy any of that fake stuff. Um, it's so good. But yeah, I'm going to try this out in baking, maybe Google some recipes and kind of see what they recommend using this stuff for, but um, I just figured I'd buy it and try it out because a lot of these products, they are cycled through, like even the summer Trader Joe's products were cycled through, like a lot of them weren't there. Like the Ubi Pancakes was earlier this year, it wasn't there very long either. I bought like two boxes when I saw them, um, but it's just like, yeah, they're you know not I try to buy things when I see them because they just uh, they're not they're not there for very long a lot of products are like that way if it's seasonal um, okay so the next one I have here is this Trader Joe's maple flavored streusel bread and I kind of was iffy on it because it's a lot of very sweet sugary bread but I figured I'm like well you know I could just freeze it and then we could just like you know use it you know now and then you know for a treat um, because it does freeze very well smells really good <laughs> smells very strongly of maple um, let's see brown sugar maple syrup okay yeah so maybe next weekend we'll try these out as a treat so I got those okay so the next one I got here and that was a new product by the way the next one I have here are these cheesy spaghetti squash casseroles, or a cheesy spaghetti squash casserole. I've never seen this before, so I think this is a new item. 
just kind of a fun dinner time item if you don't feel like cooking so i'm gonna try that out looks good and the next thing i got here is this pumpkin cream cheese spread this has been around a while too along with those bagels there was one year where they didn't even have any like the trader joe's i went to like they just didn't have any it was kind of weird sometimes it comes in before the bagel sometimes it comes in after it's kind of strange but it's like three dollars and i highly recommend this if you buy the pumpkin spice bagels to get this cream cheese spread it's super tasty you can also make it like it's pretty simple all you got to do is just buy some regular cream cheese and mix in some pumpkin spice and some pumpkin puree and then you got you got this stuff it's not that hard um okay so the next one i have here is this organic pumpkin bread um, I just thought this would be great to kind of have, you know, with some smoothies, just kind of like as a treat, like on the side. So I got this pumpkin bread. This is like not quite as sweet as that other stuff. Um, yeah, so it's about, yeah, let's see. It looks like kind of like similar to like multigrain bread, but like pumpkin. So I might like, you know, have a couple slices of that. All right. And the next one I got here is the Atomal Harvest Soup. A creamy tomato based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. I don't think I've tried this before, but we're kind of getting into that season, so I am excited to try this soup out. Okay, so let's see. All right, and next we got these maple almonds. On my second or third trip, I saw these. I'm like, I gotta try those out. Maple almonds. You know, maybe just throw into some oatmeal. You know, super simple or just as a snack. Just thought these look good. They also have these pumpkin seeds. I still have some from last year, believe it or not. Like pumpkin spice, pumpkin seeds. They're in my cabinet. I'm still sure they're pretty good still, but um, they've been around a while. And um, I just figured, well, I'm going to try these this time. So I got those. All right, so. Um, okay. And another can of pumpkin. So we got that. It's like $2. Um, not really fall related, but I have this almond flour chocolate chip cookie banking mix that I want to try out uh, because almond flour cookies have been really popular. So I bought this because I don't know if they're going to cycle through like they do so many other things. Um, and I also got this milk and dark chocolate butterscotch bits bar. Um, I just thought this looked kind of cool. Butterscotch bits, milk and dark chocolate. So I'm going to open it and just kind of see like what, okay. Oh, wow, that, that's kind of cool. I guess that's what they mean. Look, they have, it has like a marbled effect. That is kind of nice. Look at that. Maybe I'll try a piece. Let's see. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like. So like milk and dark chocolate. Does that mean it's like just blended? Or I'm like, okay, if that explains it, it's just both. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay, there's, I guess there's little butterscotch bits in it, like it says. Mm. It's good. I was expecting more, more of like a center. Like, I don't know, like, I have more of a creamy center, but, oh, I mean, it's still good. Mm. Okay. Mmm. 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 Okay, so that is it for my pumpkin haul, my pumpkin slash fall maple haul. Um, I think I am missing a receipt, but that's okay. So, I think it's on my counter, but yeah, everything was really good. Everything was really reasonable. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of you know seeing these you know i hope this video gets up <laughs> during pumpkin season i'll probably post this sooner than my other lineup because that way you know if you guys want any of these you can get over to trader joe's and you know try some of these things out before they're gone so i'll go ahead and hopefully upload it <laughs> soon so you may see some things out of order but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments below if you like these kind of videos if i should do them more 
Um, if I should do another one for Trader Joe's holiday stuff, I'd love to know. Um, also, please hit that bell to get notified each time I upload a video. Give me a like if you enjoy my content and subscribe. I would super appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.